hello everyone today we will discuss some some basic functions which are or which basic operations are given in mat matrices for example if you want to perform inverse inverse of a matrix in side app okay the command can write or the you have to write for example a is a matrix so a is in matrix okay and you want to perform an inverse of the matrix what you simply write in main console is inverse i and v a and you will get the inverse of this function okay the second function is determinant the command you have to write is simply det of a or a is a matrix of which you have to calculate determinant okay the third one is rank rank of a matrix rank of a matrix what is the rank number of linearly independent rows or columns linearly independent rows or columns the number of linearly independent rows or columns is the rank of matrix in scilab the the command is we have to write rank simple rank of a matrix or matrix a for suppose b c okay okay the number 4 command is i identity matrix for example you write, want to write an identity matrix a equal to you have to write the command e y i for example and give the your order for suppose 3 cross 3 3 rows 3 columns and you get the identity matrix okay get the 1001001001 and if you want to perform the rank on it what you have to write is or a rank rank a what you get the answer is 3 because this matrix has rank 3 okay you can also calculate rank of other matrices okay the number fifth is trace trace of a matrix the command you have to write is trace and bracket what is trace it is sum of diagonal elements of a matrix what is trace sum of diagonal elements of a matrix okay you have to write trace t r a c trace name of the matrix in a bracket okay this was about trace of the matrix the number 6 function about matrix is magnitude or for the magnitude of a vector it cannot have a function on matrix it's a magnitude of a vector suppose you want to for, for, you want to for you want to calculate the magnitude of a vector this function is related to vector okay in for example you know at you know the, that for example if i have vector a equal to we write vector in this in this form ax plus by plus cz and the magnitude of this vector is and root a square plus b square plus c square so if you have to calculate the for example if you have a vector suppose it suppose you have a vector a equal to 1 2 3 okay and you want to perform or you want to calculate this magnitude you simply have to write the command norm n o r m norm a and you will get this magnitude okay now if you want to 
if you want to if you want to make a random matrix in scilab any kind of random matrix okay a random matrix using using the random number generators a random matrix can be created by the command rand rand for example rand a b number of rows number of columns okay you can generate any random matrix suppose if you write rand 4 comma 5 a random matrix will be generated having number of rows 4 and number of columns 5 if you again type the same command rand 4 comma 5 and the matrix will be created random that will be different from the first one okay so uh, you can also calculate rand 1 a single element Okay, if you another if you again type the same command rand one, another number will be generated. Okay, the number generated here in the uh, in the in the previous examples will be different each time. Even on the same machine, because they are supposed to be random in nature. Okay. there are other commands related to this rand for example the command is rand you write rand 4 comma 5 and then you write uniform you write uniform bracket what you get is what you get is this a matrix of order 4 cross 5 but it will be of uniform distribution it will be of uniform distribution okay and if you write this command rand 4 comma 5 normal n o r n l normal you will get the random matrix of order 4 cross 5 but their distribution will be normal what is normal and what is uniform what are these distributions they provide distribution of random numbers okay this is a normal distribution it has mean at 0 and variance 0 to 1 okay all these random numbers follow gaussian distribution all the random numbers follow gaussian distribution with mu at 0 that's mean at 0 and distribution between minus 1 and 1 on the other hand the default random number the default random number distribution is uniform default is uniform and the numbers are generated between 0 and 1 it's uniform different normal they are really it is uniform okay so now we will perform these operations on on the scilab main console and we will see these functions one by one okay let us see first of all we will write some matrix for example matrix a okay we will write matrix a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 semicolon 4 comma 3 comma 3 semicolon 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 here we have generated a matrix a part of 3 cross 3 now we can perform different operations on this 
matrix for example if you want to put for inverse i and v of a you simply have to write i and v in bracket a enter you will get the inverse of a matrix similarly we can put from determinant determinant uh, we have to write determinant det in bracket a it will calculate determinant determinant is 5 okay uh, similarly we can for for, for we can uh, we can calculate rank what has what have to have to remember rank r a n k rank of matrix a undefined variable rank oh so, uh, sorry i have written it wrong r a k rank rank a we get rank as 3 uh, similarly we can we can uh, we can have we can prefer, we can get the rank of an identity matrix for example if you uh, want to uh, if you want to generate a random if you want to generate an identity matrix for your b equal to you have to simply write u y e i and uh, then give it is uh, 2 plus so 2, 2 comma 2 is r s okay you get this identity matrix now if you want to perform trace if you want to calculate t r a c a trace of a matrix a sum of diagonal if you get the if sum of diagonal is now the vector for example if you want to calculate the magnitude of a vector okay suppose you have a vector uh, suppose you have vector v equal to okay suppose you have vector v equal to uh, 1 um, 3 3 okay this is the vector now if you want to perform with magnitude if you want to uh, calculate the magnitude of this vector what you have to write what you have to write is an rm norm an rm norm norm of matrix of v or vector sorry norm of vector vector v you get this magnitude now suppose to we will clear this console plc clear the console now we will uh, generate some random matrix what uh, in order to generate these random matrix you have to write simply r a and b rand and give the order suppose we give order 4 or we give simple order 3 uh, 3 comma 3 comma 3 3 comma 4 4 4 5 1 okay enter here the random x is generated suppose if you write at uh, if you uh, if you write the same rank if you write the same order rand 3 comma 4 another matrix has been generated which is different from the previous one that's why it is not random matrix generator here random matrix have generated this command rand okay now if you want to uh, know if you want to have this uniform and normal distribution suppose r a n d rand 4 rand in bracket 4 comma 5 suppose 4 comma 5 comma okay uh, and you write in here uniform u n i f o r m uniform okay uh, bracket close uh, this we get this un is uniform uniform distribution random matrix now if you want to generate rand 4 comma 5 okay normal distribution n o r n normal distribution sorry normal distribution yeah enter here you can see its distribution is normal how can you differentiate it you know that in case of normal distribution we have the mean zero and the variance is between zero and one here no negative number has been generated because variance is between zero and one here in this matrix in this no it is matrix since it is a uh, default is a gaussian distribution and it is uh, distribution lies between and the distribution lies between minus 1 and 1 that's why we have these negative numbers okay thank you oh, this was about matrix